Hello everyone, Trucker John here. Welcome to week 11 of my TNT training. My journey to get to 50,000 miles during my primate training. And I am at, starting this week, uh, we left, well we left last week at 40, I think it was 42,000. We're at 42,000 miles right now, so we still have quite a ways to go. And uh, right now we just, uh, put fuel here at the Flying J in Ripon, California. We're heading to Turlock, California to pick up a load. We're gonna be heading to Washington State. It's about 750 miles. And never seen this before, so check this out. At this Flying J, they actually have a timer. How long somebody's been at the pump? My timer's broken, I have not been there for 99 minutes. I've maybe been here for 15, but that guy, he just pulled up. He's putting fuel, he's been there for five minutes. And uh, yeah, I think that's a really good idea because sometimes, uh, as you at the truckers know, you'll pull up to a fuel station and somebody will just sit here, not even putting fuel, wasting everybody's time. So it's not that nice to have a little timer so we can see what's going on. All right, so we're going to go pick up our load right now, and uh, it's a dropping hook. The trailer's waiting for us, which is nice. I wish they were all like that. It saves so much time and aggravation. So we're gonna pick up this load, and it is, uh, we don't know the weight yet. Uh, it is a frozen load. Well, no, 35 degrees, so it's not frozen. Yeah, going to be heading up to Washington. Welcome to Grand View, Washington. That's Theo parking on our truck. I just checked us in. Gonna be dropping this off. This is a Walmart distribution center up here in Washington. So we're gonna get them loaded here. Hopefully it doesn't take more than an hour. We only have 10 pallets, so hopefully it's quick. Then we're going to head about 40 miles down the road to Richland, Washington. I think we've been here before. Uh, we're gonna pick up a, a, a load there and bring it to Salt Lake City Terminal and drop it off there and get repowered to another load. All right, so while Theo is doing this, I'm gonna get some rest because I'll be driving tonight. I'm back driving the night shift. Just have no problem doing that. Anyways, only have about two weeks left on this truck. On Theo's truck. This is uh, one of the locations that like to unhook you from the trailer while they're unloading you. For safety reasons, they don't want, like I said, pet issues with drivers driving away while they were still unloading or loading. It's a pretty dangerous situation. Uh, and it's also good for us because uh, while they're loading or unloading, it's not shaking the truck, so you can kind of rest, get some sleep. So that's always nice also. Here in 
Fords, Bridger, Wyoming. Stopping to put some fuel. It is my turn to start driving. Uh, it's about, it's 5 p.m. 5 p.m. here. And I should drive until about, I don't know, 2 or 3 in the morning. We'll see how far I can get. Uh, weather's not too bad. I mean, obviously, the ground's not that great. It's just a little slick and snowy. But uh, it's clear. It's not too windy, so I think we'll be all right. We'll make it through here just fine. Uh, so anyways, we uh, dropped off there in Salt Lake City. And uh, we picked up... Uh, we dropped off our loaded trailer because they gave us like four days on that trailer when it would have taken us a day and a half to get there. So it was just too much time on it. So we dropped it off at the Salt Lake City Yard and we picked up a loaded trailer that was uh, waiting for us. And uh, that one is due in two days and we should be there in a day and a half depending on weather. So we're going to be early. Uh, yeah, no, so we're going to Columbus, Ohio, and by the time I get there, I will be at 45,000 miles out of my 50,000, so we are winding down, guys. We are almost there. It's looking good. So, yeah, uh, thanks for sticking around. I'll keep you updated, and I'm going to have to start brainstorming and figure out what kind of content I'm going to uh, bring in you guys once, once I've upgraded. Once I'm in my own truck, I do have a surprise, as I've said before. Once I upgrade, I have a surprise for, for everybody when I when I do finally upgrade. So it's pretty exciting, something in the works. So stay tuned for that, and yeah, we'll see you down the road. All right, so I want to talk just real quick about my adventures through Wyoming last night. So I'm going to show you this video right now. In this video, I'm only going about. 45 to 50 miles per hour. It looks like I'm going a little faster. Uh, That's just the way it looks because of all the wind and me passing this truck and everything. Uh, but I'm going pretty slow. And plus, I'm you know pushing 78,000 pounds, so really the wind's not affecting me. Um, the winds are probably between 40 and 50 miles per hour, but there was a wind warning for up to 70 miles per hour. Um, so the best advice that I've ever received and that I could pass on to anybody is when you're driving in any kind of weather condition that's not the greatest, especially wind, uh, you just need to slow down and keep your following distance. That's really the best thing to do here. And I'm gonna kind of explain why. Uh, before I started filming this scene, uh, like not even 10 minutes before, I was cruising along at about 50 miles per hour. No one, no one was around me. Uh, I could feel the wind, you know, it was pretty strong, but it wasn't affecting me. Uh, but I had this pickup truck pass me on the left and he was going pretty fast, you know, definitely too fast for driving conditions, even for a little car, you know, for a pickup truck. Uh, but anyways, he passed me going very fast and got right in front of me into my lane. So I slowed down even more, just a little bit to give him his, his, his room, but he was going pretty fast. Uh, my radar picked him up, my cruise control radar, and he was going well over 80 miles per hour. So he was going a good, you know, 30 to 40 miles more than what I was doing. Uh, but anyways, he reached a overpass, a bridge, and I don't know if he hit a, a slick piece of ice or a slick piece of roadway or just a strong gust of wind hit him or maybe he was drunk. I don't know what happened, but this guy lost control. He spun out right in front of me um, and he spun out, spun out from my lane going into the left lane, hit the guardrail, and this is a narrow bridge. So he hit the guardrail and if you've ever seen this happen before, whether in live or in a YouTube video, uh, what happens when a car hits a guardrail? They usually bounce right back to another guardrail, especially in a narrow bridge. So that's what he did. He ping-ponged back and forth on this guardrail right in front of me. Uh, but I was going slow enough and I had enough following distance to where I was able to come to a, a slow enough um, stopping distance. So I was not going to be a part of his little adventure bouncing around however there was a what we call a super trucker coming up on my left and he was probably going just about as fast as this car if not faster in these conditions that you see which is just suicide it's so stupid anyways this trucker passed me really fast 
and I don't think he saw this accident happening because he wasn't slowing down. So I came to almost a complete stop because I didn't want to be a part of this. And I hit my air horn because it didn't seem like anybody was paying attention. I want to get people's attention, right? So I hit my, my air horn, then I hold it down because like nobody wants to slow down. And I think finally the truck driver that passed me noticed it. He slowed down. We all put our flashes on. I, you know, and I'm able to get to the left lane uh, to pass this now disabled and jacked up pickup truck. So I didn't get any of that on, on film, but uh, this happened like not even 10 minutes before I started filming this scene. Um, but that, that just goes to show that you guys, you know, we need to go slow out here. And these, not only the, the four wheelers, but these truck drivers that are going so fast, it's just suicide and I don't, I don't understand it. All right, so a little change of plans. We're about 400 miles from Columbus, Ohio, and we're gonna do our first repower. And basically what that means is, uh, this driver right here with that empty or that trailer is with no truck uh he could not make his delivery on time so we in our truck right there we're gonna switch trailers with him we're gonna take his loaded trailer and he's gonna take our loaded trailer we're basically swapping trailers uh so he can deliver for our our load on time and then we're gonna head back to Oakland, California with his load so we can get it there on time because he's a solo driver, we're team, so we can get it there twice as fast. So that's what we're doing here. Somewhere in, uh, well, we're in Waterloo, Waterloo, Iowa. So that's what we're doing. And uh, yeah, good stuff. hooked up. Matthew's uh, raising the landing gear. So we're going to get this loaded going back the opposite direction to Oakland, California. So the good thing about doing a repower is uh, we're about 400 miles from our drop off right now. So we're losing that 400 miles. However, we're gaining, we're going back 1800 miles in the other direction. So 1800 minus 400 those miles because it's basically the same delivery time so it's good all right so we dropped off there in oakland california and uh yeah we definitely finished this week strong, just about 4,500 miles, a little bit over, but I'm gonna call it 4,500, which puts me at 46,000 miles. So we are in the home stretch, guys. We are almost there. Another week and a half, two weeks, I'll be at 50,000 miles. Uh, I'm gonna stay on Theo's truck though after my 50,000. Once I upgrade, um, I'm gonna stay on for probably another week or two. Um, and I'm gonna explain that once I do my upgrade video. I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys, so stick around for that. So yeah, that's gonna do it for me for this week. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, we will see you down the road.